Hello, welcome to Thirsty for Art. I have a fun exercise for you, my art therapists and creative facilitators and coaches out there who are working on their businesses. You know, sometimes when we think of business, it's all about strategy and money and caseload, getting clients, marketing and all that, which is great. But sometimes you can solve problems and break through blocks within your business in a more creative and intuitive way. As art therapists and facilitators, we all know art works, right? So why not apply it for our own businesses, right? So I'm going to share with you an exercise and some reflection questions for you to try and I am going to share my own art making process as well. So in today's exercise, we're going to make art to help you start your business. So this is perfect for you if you are in the phase of starting your business. This will help you formulate your business idea, help you with your business vision, and even work out your next concrete steps to help you start your business. If you are already in your business, this will just help you check in with the state of your business, where it's going, and see what is your vision for it at this moment. So are you ready? These are the materials that you need. You need any drawing and or painting materials. It's up to you which one you choose. I'm bringing watercolor paints, oil pastels, and watercolor pencils, plus brushes, cup with water, and a rag. So the prompt or the art exercise is for you to create a landscape of your dream business. So think about your dream business, right? Just sit down, take a moment, think of your dream business, let your mind go wild, use your imagination, and just feel how that feels like to think, think of or think to imagine your dream business and you're going to create a landscape that reflects your dream business so uh, in other words think of your dream business as a landscape what would it look like what kind of features would it have what colors would it have right and there is really no wrong way to do this of course you know uh, so uh, trust your intuition trust your gut see what comes out as you create the image you know, sometimes I think that when we try to sit down and actually come up with our business plan and our vision and goals for our business, sometimes we just run around in circles and we sometimes feel stuck or we feel like we don't have enough clarity. We feel a little confused. We feel so influenced by what other people think or what others are doing. So it can be hard to really pin down the vision and the plan or your business idea. And so I think this is perfect time to actually listen to our intuition, right? And you know, of course, art making is perfect for that. And so I find that when we sit down and make art for our business, about our business, I think we can really gain so much from that process. So I actually believe that you know, doing business or starting one and growing one is all about you knowing yourself really, really well. And what is the best way to do that, right? <laughs> one of the best ways is, I think, to make art because now we don't have filters. We're really going straight to our hearts. We're really tapping into our intuition. And the reason why we get stuck with business is we don't trust our intuition we're so confused we we listen to other things outside of us that don't align with us um, that doesn't feel good for us and so we forget to listen to our intuition when we do business and so i think um, it's important to actually sit down and make art in relation to our business itself so I hope that this is helpful for you and give you permission to um, combine art and business together. And this is something that I actually do uh, every month with my Visionary members in the Visionary Art Therapist uh, program and membership. I have lots of art therapists and facilitators in there all kind of working towards our own businesses. 
and I intentionally, we intentionally sit down every month to do some art making,、uh, especially related to our business, because a lot of things come up, right? A lot of things come up、um, when we actually. Try to do business. Lots of challenges, lots of、um, inner resistances, right?、Um, lots of thoughts and lots of triggers, lots of blocks, and also moments to celebrate and enjoy and have fun. And so we can do that by making space. Uh, to hold all those things、um, within like a studio time, and so we always do studio, and I feel like that is an important part of、um, our business growth as our therapists and facilitators. So you can really take your time for this piece, and I intentionally left out the details about the size of your artwork because you can really get big with this, or you can get really small with this.、Um, dedicate a few days for this, or just ten minutes, fifteen minutes. So you can take it however you want to. However, once you feel like、um, your art piece, your work. Is finished. You can let your piece dry on your desk or wherever you're working on, and bring out a pen and paper to actually reflect on this artwork that you've created. Just so we can get a little bit deeper about your business and how this image can help you. Uh, you know, before you start your business, so bring your pen and paper and take time to reflect on these questions. And I invite you to write your answers down on paper. So the first question is to think about what kind of place this is. What kind of landscape is this? You know, it could be a desert. It could be a sea, like beach landscape, right? Um, kind of explain what kind of place it is, and then answer how does it support you and others. How does it support you and others? The next question is how do you grow within this type of landscape? How would you grow? How can you move forward in this space? How can you evolve in this place? The last question is, what would you need to have in this dream business? So, what would you need to have within this landscape? Is there are things that you need to thrive here? Think about it, and maybe、uh, you can also answer this bonus or extra question. What is your first step then? Now you know what you need for this dream business, or for you to be in this type of landscape. What is your first step to meet that need? All right, with that, you are all done with this exercise. Of course, you're welcome to share your image, or actually, I will be happy to see your image and hear what you learn from this in my art therapist Facebook community. I will link that community in my description or in the tip. Or in the comments,、uh, but you can also share your image on Instagram, on your stories or your post, and make sure to tag me so I can see your image.、Uh, my handle is Thirsty for Art Official. So thanks so much for trying this out. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time with more tips and helpful things to start and grow your business. Bye bye. See you next time.